Welcome back to Park City Television. We're at the Festival Village presented by Acura up here on Main Street, and I'm joined by the entire cast and director of Paint. Tell me a little bit about this whole project and how you came up with it. Paint is a TV pilot, about 30 minutes comedy, and it's entered in the indie episodic section at Sundance, and we shot it back in April, thinking that we were just gonna take it to network, and uh, it got into Sundance. Sundance started this new section, so. Love it, and I want to hear a little bit about kind of some of your characters. Let's start with you. What what did you kind of draw on to inspire your character? Oh wow. Well, I mean the 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 story the story is about um, three young artists trying to break into the um, the art world in Brooklyn, basically back in New York. Um, and I play the mom of uh, Josh's character, Dan, um, and she's a very kind of supportive uh, upper middle class mom who supports her son in his career, but he kind of comes to her with a kind of bold and outrageous. Um, suggestion about you know a way that he can kind of build up his career and it involves me so that's kind of a big storyline in the in the pilot is whether or not I'm going to kind of jump in with both feet and really support him 100 percent so so well, my character's name is Stephanie she is not an artist she um, she and Josh's character Dan dated in high school and she's now married to a man who's I guess twice her age and um, you know she likes the, the finer things in life, um, but she's still seeing seeing uh, Dan, and um, yeah, so they they have an interesting kind of complicated relationship that we get into throughout it, and it's uh, yeah, that's that's the basics on Stephanie. Yeah, um, I play Kelsey, and she's sort of like a little bit of a hard, and she's a painter and. You know, she's just trying to be taken seriously and just trying to get her art out there and trying to be successful, but she's just making coffee and constantly sort of like getting stepped on a little bit. But she's pulling out of it. Uh, yeah, and I play Dan. Uh, he also is like a year out of art school. And uh, he's kind of an angsty guy. Um, has a lot he wants to say, but is... He wants to be darker than he is. He kind of grew up like upper middle class um, and is kind of tied down by feeling self-conscious about that. So he's trying to fight fight through and, and, and uh, do something as messed up as he can think of to sort of make a name for himself. Basically, it is about you know it's about these three artists living in Bushwick who are trying to make it in the art world. They know each other from art school and they've been out for a year. And their adventure is trying to be darker or trying to be respected or, you know, these to be better artists. Now, you mentioned earlier that some of this is your own story kind of infused into this plot line. How do you think other people will relate to it? Did you draw from people you knew or? Yeah, I, I mean, this is, it's drawn from me. It's drawn from stories that I've heard and it's drawn from, you know, I made things up, but it's, uh, it's, it's definitely relatable to anybody who's ever started out fresh out of school not knowing anything and and thinking that they're talented it's you know anyone who ever can identify with you know the playing in a band and seeing this other band that's superstars that suck you know so and they're like we can play better than them why are they play, you know why are they successful so it's that that kind of thing well, and it is interesting that you guys are here premiering at Sundance, which is, you know, gives a voice to kind of the little guys, right? Which kind of fits in with you guys. How would you, how do you feel like Sundance benefits, you know, the young and upcomer filmmakers, artists, things like that? God, I mean, that's for you. I don't know. I mean, I... I, I think it's um, it's an amazing opportunity for um, filmmakers who actually get a chance to show here. I know it's just become so competitive, but um, I've seen, um, I was here with a film called Blue Ruin in 2013, 14, it was actually the beginning of 14, and um, Jeremy Saulnier, that was his, uh, his second feature, but first time at Sundance, and his career has just blown up since then, so it's really exciting for me to see um, people that I've worked with kind of just, it's like a launching pad for so many amazing careers. It's me. We were just walking with these guys and they're running into friends who are in other films and they're all, you know, on their way up to something. So what advice do you guys have then for aspiring directors or aspiring artists, actors, you know, since now you film, made this film about the struggle, about it. she's like reaching for it, she's like, I have advice. Go for it, go for it. Um, you just got to keep doing it and you got to believe in yourself and it's always going to be hard no matter what even if you want to be a lawyer it's still going to be hard if 
you want to be an artist, you want to be an actor, you want to be a director, you just really have to believe in yourself and just keep going for it because the world will sometimes really try to get you down and you get down on yourself and you doubt yourself, but you really just got to keep believing in yourself and trust that the universe will give you the opportunities to, you know, make your dreams come true. I tend to give the worst advice to people, so <laughs> I don't, you know. If, if anybody listens to me, poor them. I have, I mean, I, this is something that's been important to me over my career as I've gotten older, especially is like, the, it's, I really think about the importance of a creative community. Um, like someone like Michael, I consider like, you know, we kind of were in each other's circle in each other's orbit for a few years and then boom, here we are working together. And I have a lot of different relationships like that where it's not that like, you're thinking, oh, this is this relationship's gonna pay off. It's just I respected his work, I liked his work, and, and vice versa, and here we are. So I think it's really about fostering those relationships with writers, directors, other actors, staying in touch, doing projects together, when you know, creating something when you're not working, um, going to see each other's plays, each other's features. Um, and then, you know, that creative community can can kind of lift you up. I'll say Amy really lives that. She really Yeah, she tries everything. You try you know, you did Jace's thing and you did the, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I would just say, like, and this is something I'm trying to practice even myself, is that just the nature of doing something like this, and, you know, I haven't been doing it nearly as long as a lot of people I know, is just it ebbs and ebbs and flows like crazy. And you need to make peace with the fact that this is not, you know, you're not getting an office job that's like, if I work this many years, then I'm guaranteed to get here. It's just like there's no guarantees. And you, if you want to live this life, you need to make peace with, with what it is. And it's yeah. an unwieldy thing. So. so where can we expect paint to go? Can you tell me any of that as it's going to progress? I could maybe tell you on Wednesday. OK. <laughs> but I mean, series-wise, with the plot line. <laughs> Why are we all laughing? We thought you meant like, oh, is it going to be on Netflix? Well, like, we're hoping so. Yeah. We're, we're aiming for that, but... Well, yeah, I mean, it's all written out, his story, but, you know, without knowing any of the story, it's hard to explain it. But it's, uh, you know, it's a fun... It's, it's fun. They have the crazy adventures with crazy people. The art world's full of... Characters. Characters and, you know, the biggest entitled, smart people <laughs> that you can imagine, and they, they have to get through it and somehow deal with it and figure out how to make a living. Well, we can't wait to see it. You guys premiere tomorrow. How are we feeling? So excited. Yeah, it's Amazing. So excited. It's great to be here. Yeah. To well, thank you so much for coming to join us. We wish you all the best of luck at your premiere, and we'll be on the lookout for paint coming to some online venue near you for everyone to watch. Thanks for joining us. This is Park City Television. We'll be right back with more Sundance coverage.